But most importantly, I remember my passport this time. Good morning everybody and welcome back to Frankfurt. We're here for day two of our marathon adventure and yeah it's we're just I'm just running past the festival hall and where the finish is and we're about to go down there in a minute to register but I've got to get the run done for the day so yeah it's just a very easy relaxed casual 6k just uh, plan something out on my watch it's quite cool on the watch because I can just say I want to run about 6k and then it plots a cool little route for me all around the town centre using some of the popularity routing that Garmin has but even if you don't have a fancy watch like mine you can still play around on the Garmin app and on the Garmin website and have it plotting out some routes for you you might discover something new in your area start line just here we'll be down here in a couple of days can't wait to get going now legs feeling good and pretty fresh as well and yeah just super excited to be running down these main roads here right just started the run so we'll catch up about 3k in and yeah no idea where we're going just following the watch so we'll see you in a bit So about 4k in to the run, about 2k left to go. So yeah, really nice out in the park and the east uh, side, uh, western side of Frankfurt even. And yeah, feeling good, feeling really excited to get down to the expo, pick up the number. That's when it's all gonna start to get quite real. Right, let's head down here. I should be following my watch, but I saw this park and I wanted to go into it. So now I'm getting a little bit lost. Yeah, but that goal of around that 223, 224 should be good. I know the second half of the marathon is gonna be very, very tough. It is in Frankfurt. Um, it's just kind of how it is. There's not gonna be much crowd support. And not gonna be, yeah, all that much uh, sort of motivation wise in that second half of the course. But that's it, it is what it is. We're here to have fun. It's a massive tower just up there going over the main roads. And yeah, like Berlin, I just wasn't in good shape, as I said at the time. I was in good shape, but feeling very, very tired a lot of the time. And just was never, it was never gonna be a good result. And got it wrong, went off too fast, and just got in trouble really. Didn't wanna completely rinse myself, but feeling a lot better now. Learned a lot from that race. You learn from every race you do in marathons. For me, I don't think a lot of people, it's the hardest distance there is out there. Um, you know, very, very rarely can you step off a marathon course thinking that was superb. It just never really happens. You always leave something out there. But yeah, feeling a lot better now. A lot less stressed. I was very stressed around Berlin time, really wasn't sleeping all that much, trying to sleep a lot, but a lot of sleepless nights, feeling very tired. It's annoying, you get to bed and you can't sleep because you've got stuff on your mind, race and work and everything, but better now. And the hotel here is really nice, so, and it was nice in Berlin, but this one's really cool. We're building up the atmosphere, being close to the start line. So yeah, let's get down to the expo, see what's going on, meet some other runners and just have some fun and lunch and then this afternoon be working all afternoon on the laptop editing videos do coaching plans and looking after my clients a few are racing this weekend as well so yeah that's it we'll see you later on oh red man better stop Right guys, it is expo time. So yeah, really excited. Love going to expos full of lovely runners and all great brands to go and have a look at what they've got coming up. But most importantly, 
I remember my passport this time. So no awkward things. Sarah, have you got your passport? Sarah's filming in the background, so <laughs> that's gonna look a bit funny. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go and pick up our numbers first and then gonna catch up with a few uh, friends and things that we know are here. We've got some friends on the Hoka only only stand right there and some friends at Strava. And yeah, just have a look around and take it all in. So yeah, super excited. It's all starting to get very, very real now. Right, let's get over there and pick up the number. Right guys, so we've picked up the numbers. Ah, I can't get this right around. So we are 5851 and Sarah is F2011. So yeah, add those on to the tracking app if you want to see what we get up to. Hopefully this will be published before the race. Um, so yeah, bizarrely, the queue to get in here to pick up our numbers, there wasn't one, there's nobody here, but there is a massive line here for another like relay race. So I didn't even know there was a relay race going on. So yeah, learning about these things now. So there'll be a lot of like faster runners or people overtaking the things on the course. Well, if they're gonna be going for around that 224 pace. So gonna need to do some research on that and see what's going on. Right, these we've got to go and get our bags now and then we can have a look around the stands and have some fun. So yeah, chips, numbers. All done. What? 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 I didn't hear what the last bit. Yeah, cool. So as you saw in my last video about electric cars, I think we're gonna go for the BMW i8. It's the bargain price of 170,000 euros. And the channel's doing so well now. Like that's just my monthly. <laughs> Lovely cars, the i3 is quite nice there as well. But yeah, we're gonna look at that Renault's, new Renault Zoe's coming out. So uh, yeah, we'll see. But more importantly, fueling me rather than these cars will be stocking up on some more Morton gels. It is quite hard to buy sometimes, but they've got some good offers here. Um, yeah, so just gonna get some of the 320 drink mix uh, from the stand here, which will be, I'll be having some of that today and tomorrow for the carb loading and then some 160 drink mix on the morning of the race before we go down as well. And yeah, just gonna stock up on some gels because why not? We're here, we might as well. Now they do allow you, if you're under 245 PV, they allow you to put bottles out on the course here. But from reading a lot of reports and speaking to a few friends that have run in the race before, it's just not a good idea because that's quite a lot of people. You're gonna have maybe three or 400 people in that category. Trying to find your bottle is just gonna be nigh on impossible um, out on, you know, out from a table at the side of the course so not going to bother with that just going to you know get loads and loads of energy in before the race and then just use the water on the course and i'll carry all my morton gels with me anyway which will be enough energy to get me around that's what i've always done i just don't want to complicate it by trying to put bottles out there and if that goes wrong and i've suddenly got no gels on me and i can't get them from those tables whoosh, race over so yeah just going to go with what i know try and be sensible like that right i'm just wandering miles away from the morton stand um so right let's go and check in and see Sarah is, and we'll get some bits from here. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Right guys, so Sarah's in the way. We've just had dinner in one of the most bizarre, but really cool, funky places. That's the wrong way, Sarah. Home's this way, Sorry. but yeah this Italian pizza restaurant here, Unexpected. which, not on camera, <laughs> but yeah, super, it's you know, we walked in, didn't have a clue what we are doing, not a word of English, which I really liked, and it forces me to try and speak some German and learn the language a little bit more, so yeah, we got through amazing pizzas, how good were those pizzas? Really good. Best pizzas outside of Italy? Yes. In Frankfurt, who would have thought it? <laughs> amazing, I ran past this place, Yesterday, out my run, went past about, it was an odd time, about three o'clock in the afternoon, it was queuing out the door. So yeah, we just walked down from the hotel this evening just to see what the fuss was about. It was rammed, but with good reason, because yeah, absolutely amazing. So some pizzas down the hatch and feeling good. So yeah, back to the hotel. Anyway, check it out. I don't know what it was called, but I'll, I'll look it up. I'll put it down in the uh, notes and whatever down below. But yeah, really, really recommend it. If you're in Frankfurt and you need a pizza, check that place out and learn some basic German before you go in as well. Right guys, we'll see you back at the hotel uh, in a bit. <laughs> right 
Right guys, so yeah, after that amazing pizza, we came back to the hotel and just completely passed out with a sort of a food coma. So this is actually Saturday night now, the day before the marathon. Uh, no, we haven't just woken up. Sarah is cooking up some more pasta. We had some gnocchi for lunch, and now we're having some pasta for dinner, some music for dinner. It's just carbs, 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 getting everything ready for the race day. But yeah, out the window. You probably can't see, but it's looking amazing out there getting everything set up so yeah it's nearly go time and yeah whatever happens out there i just cannot wait to get going this whole journey we've made 90 18 90 videos and we'll do one next week uh with the sort of how everything's gone and i just cannot wait to get going out there and just have some fun because that's what running is all about i don't know what's going to happen in the race we'll just see sarah come through and have a chat to everybody um yeah we'll just see how it goes and i'm just going to give it my all give it 110 percent Oh and yeah, God, what will sorry. be will be. I just can't wait to bring you guys. Um, yeah, not along with the race. I can't record anything in the race because we're going all of it, but I'll try and get some footage at the end. And yeah, Sarah, how are you going to go tomorrow? Oh, you excited, I'd... nervous? Yes, I'm so excited, but super nervous. Super nervous. So yeah, we're both going to give it our all, go for some PBs out there and see what happens. Sarah, three, sub 320 will no, be a good day. Yeah, sub 320 will be a good day. And Very yeah, a PB day. for me, which is the title of this whole series anyway. I just want to come here and get a PB and I'll be happy with that. And then we can build on to the next one. So as usual guys, thank you for, for blah, blah, blah. thank you for following along. You know, I, I love making these videos. I love all the engagement that you guys give. And yeah, without you watching and liking and subscribing, we wouldn't have a channel. So thank you so much for the support and I hope you enjoy the journey. Best of luck for anybody of you guys out there running park running, racing, whatever you're doing this weekend, go out there, give it your all and have a low, have fun and run with a smile on your face because that's what running's all about, isn't it? Right, we're gonna get some dinner on the go and yeah, the clocks change. <laughs> I've just realized we're actually gonna get an extra hour of sleep. The race doesn't even start till 10. And so yeah, that's kind of like 11 o'clock. So it's been a nice relaxed start to the morning. Get out there, do some strides and I'll probably do about three odd K before the race starts as well. Anyway, I'm rambling. We're gonna go and have some dinner and what are we watching tonight? What's the film? The lighthearted comedy. Uh, uh, Daddy's Home 2 on But you Netflix. haven't even seen the first one. Don't need to see the first one. We'll go, we'll go for two. Okay. Well, maybe watch them both. But yeah, right, it's enough Christmas rambling. <laughs> it's a Christmas film. It's, it's Christmas soon. Oh, Christmas, yeah, hats. Did you watch a Halloween film? Hats, good segue oh. there, Sarah. People need to buy their hat. Christmas presents, green hats, red hats, hoodies, tops, buffs, and all of that jazz. Thank you to the patrons. I'll put your names up on the screen now. And yeah, this has been a great video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you we'll do see you. Say so yeah, I do say so myself. I would give this a like and a comment as well. God, how is this quality content? I don't know. Right, we've done everything. We're gonna have some dinner. We're gonna give it a roll tomorrow. And we're gonna say goodbye. We'll see you in the next one.